Dustin Roper has his movie reviews coming up. Billy will tell us what's on the deck for the weekend. <laughs> and David Kentwell is here from the Tribune telling us about that red light ticket. You may have gotten in the man. reporter who broke that red light ticket scandal. He's a reporter with the Chicago Tribune, so please welcome David Kidwell. Good morning. Hey, David. Morning. <laughs> Tough act to follow, I know. You had to have me on after him? I know, right? right. No, right. but you know what? A lot of Chicagoans want to hear about this scandal and how the story happened and what could we get a refund? We got a ton of questions okay. for you. So let's talk about this. $400 million has been raised since 2007 when they implemented the red light camera? Well, they implemented it in 2003, and since then it's closer to half a billion, with a B. Mm. So how did this whole investigation come about? So um, uh, for, for several years we've been uh, investigating this relationship between the person at City Hall who was supposed to be overseeing and bringing this company to the, to the city, yeah. um, and the company. Um, it, it was a very cozy relationship, and we started writing about that. And now that he has been charged with taking up the $2 million in bribes, from the company uh, since the beginning of the contract in 2003. Mm. Uh, and so, I mean, that's how we sort of got onto it. And then we thought, well, you know what? Look, if there's an incentive to corrupt the contract, what about the program itself? Uh, and last year, we went to the city and said, we'd like to see all the tickets for more than 4 million tickets. Um, uh, and they said no. and we fought them, hired litigators, um, and eventually we got the database uh, late last year. Along the lines of what Ryan just asked, how did you even know that there was a cozy relationship to even start this investigation, to even look into this? Right. Well, we, when, when Mayor Rahm Manuel took office, he, one of his first initials was a speed camera program. Mm -hmm. And so we started asking for his correspondence and trying to research the motivation behind that. Uh -huh. And as we were covering that, sort of tips started bubbling up about, hey, you might want to look at this guy. Oh. Well, let's talk it too. Like, there's weird spikes in some of these cameras, yes. and sometimes they're not ticketing very much a day, and then sometimes right. they're ticketing, you know, in the 50 number range. Yes. So here's what we did. We took um, uh, every camera in the city at, at, the, at its peak, there were 384 of them, and we essentially did an EKG of them, like the heartbeat, tickets yeah. per day, and you could see it on a chart like an EKG, you know? Yeah. And if, 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 and, so, and a lot of these cameras, if the heartbeat were your or mine, we'd be in the intensive care unit. Uh, uh, we noticed some very, very dramatic spikes in cases where sometimes they'd go from one or two tickets a day for months and months and months at a time, um, all of a sudden issuing 50 tickets a day. The same light. It's the same light for, this, for, for 12 days, sometimes it's weeks, sometimes it's days, sometimes it's months, and then it'd go back down to normal. And so in January, we took this, these rather astonishing graphs to the city and said, look, I explain to us what this is. You know, we thought maybe, maybe there is an intersection closed down the road, or maybe there is a, a, a flea market opened up the road and traffic flow increased. They couldn't explain at all. Um, we started looking and shooting down all these arguments. Well, they said, well, maybe one of them is a funeral procession. Uh, maybe uh, it's oh. a game at the United Center, or maybe there's some sort of special event. So we started shooting those down one at a time. Um, up until the time we first published last Friday, they did have, not have an explanation for any of these spikes. And what we found when we went, went sort of deep on a number of them yeah. was that for instance, at one intersection at, at, uh, on the north side at Lincoln and McCormick, for six months, we looked at every ticket for a year mm -hmm. issued from that intersection. Mm -hmm. And for six months prior to this weird spike, the camera was issuing two, three tickets a day. And none of them, zero, were issued for rolling right turns out of the right turn lane. Mm. So is there somebody Wait. who's operating? Are they, what did you find? Like, where are you getting to? Is it someone who's purposely doing this? Ben? Well, that's what I'm trying to get to. I mean, okay. we, we, and then during the spike, um, uh, there were 563 tickets issued over 12 days after a whole whole year of two, three tickets a day. 560 of them were issued for right turns. It, com it completely changed what they were enforcing out there at that intersection. Yeah. And then they went back. 
And then we went, looked at the yellow times during the spike, and they're all over the place, three, four, um, uh, three, four, three seconds, four seconds. And every expert we talk to says, you can't do that to people. The, this is not a sting operation. These things are designed, and they've been promised to us by the city to be a safety countermeasure. They're designed to train drivers over time. And when you start changing the enforcement like that in the middle, you defeat the purpose of the system itself. And it, it, all those tickets are unfair, and they ought to be tossed out. So the out. bottom yep. line is, how can we get our money right. back? Right. Are people going to get their money back, do you think? Well, well I didn't mean we. How yeah. can people, <laughs> how can, uh, people who have been right. violators of this, who are at well, home watching, I'm just speaking right. for you well, and us. It just is generally just difficult to appeal as well. There's this whole other side too, right? Yeah, well, very, very few people appeal their tickets. 95% um, uh, of the tickets are never appealed. And of the ones that are appealed, only 10% win. So it's, mm. a very, it's less than half of 1% of people ever get their tickets thrown out. And, and there's various, th you can argue all day long about the reasons for that, but um, a lot of it uh, when we were out talking to drivers is most people don't even, most people we talk to don't even look at the video. They just write the check. It's not worth their time. Or they probably you think can't they can't go up against the hall. city. Yes. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Well, there is mm -hmm. that video too, which doesn't help the situation when they <laughs> show that video. I mean, yeah. when I heard that when people, yes. <laughs> well, but actually when they see that, that's what I heard. Right. I, I, well, um, so the city yesterday, um, uh, after several days of silence, the city is to this day has not addressed the central issue, and that is the fundamental fairness of camera systems that change the rules in the middle of the game, um, uh, which are all of our experts say, no fair. Uh, they're crying foul on that. Um, yeah, we need but, answers. The people but, need but, answers. But, but the city has agreed to review 9,000, they're going to send letters to like 9,000 of people who got tickets there offering to re-review <laughs> their tickets. Well, to start, yeah. thank you for the great work. I mean, it's, it's incredible yeah. that you uncovered this, so thanks, thank, David. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thanks, David. Thanks for that update.